Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm working on my mini sketchbook project today and if you want to see the first video about this little project I'll pop the links in the description below and in the top right corner of this video. That video will tell you all about the supplies I'm using and how and why I've started this little project. I have such a fondness for working small I think I might be pushing the limits a little bit with this very teeny sketchbook, but working small has so many advantages. One of those advantages is that it really forces you to simplify something that you might be finding a little bit challenging to draw. And a very good example of that is the human figure. It's one of the things that most people tell me they would very much like to be able to draw but it's also the thing that people tell me they're the most afraid to even try and draw. And I think part of that is that we really overcomplicate the very idea of drawing people, which probably stops us from even giving it a go in the first instance. And the human body is such an impressive piece of engineering. There are so many different moving parts uh, and each of us is the same, but slightly different in our own special way. And of course the body is so expressive in our body language and our facial expressions that there is an awful lot that we um, can start thinking about trying to articulate in our drawings. But of course you can actually create a very um, believable human figure to pop into your paintings without having to articulate absolutely everything. And the best way I think to go about doing that is to work in a little sketchbook so that you can start to see the human body uh, as an aggregate form. Instead of trying to break it down into every individual body part and try and remember the anatomy you learnt in biology class, it's an awful lot easier if you can start seeing shapes together and see a simplified form of that shape. For example, this little lady's bottom half, if you take from the waist down, instead of trying to see that as imagining how the pelvis sits and how the hip bones attach into the pelvis and what the proportion of the calf is to the thigh and so on, instead of doing that, I just tried to see what was the big shape that was made by her body. And to me, it looks like an upside down tuning fork. Now, an upside down tuning fork is an awful lot easier to even contemplate drawing uh, compared to all those anatomical features I was talking about before. So I think this is a great thing to get in the habit of doing because when you want to pop a little figure into say your landscape painting that's what you're going to want to be doing is seeing the, the figure almost as a whole and seeing the, the shape that it makes so that you can put a small figure in a, in a less scary way into your painting which does add so much life and interest to a painting. Painting. And I feel quite strongly about this. I've been writing all about it. And if you want to read my detailed blog post all about that, I'll pop the link in the description below. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to see some more videos. And if there are any questions that you have about drawing people that you think I could answer, please don't hesitate to pop those in the comments below. See you again next time.